For its seventh roadshow in India, Brand USA brought its biggest delegation to the country. MIG TV spoke with tourism representatives of California, Santa Monica, and Chicago, who talked about what their destinations have to offer to an Indian tourist. They also shared some interesting statistics about Indian travelers' visitations. We're a very popular destination with the Indian traveler and I think it is because of our absolutely magnificent scenery and the diversity. We have oceans and beaches from sandy beaches um, where you can learn how to surf to rugged cliffs that drop off into the Pacific waves um, to also the mountainside. You can go skiing in California. But we have, we're seeing an increase, a steady increase year-on-year year, uh, visitation from India. So last year we saw an increase of 4.4%. This year we're expecting a growth in the year shaping up very nicely of 7.8%. And over the next four years until 2022 we're expecting a 43% increase of Indian visitation just to California. The spend from the Indian visitor has increased over the last years per visitor. So there is the you know the affluent traveler that is very interested in, in coming to California and that kind of reflects in those numbers we have a we have a whole I mentioned diversity before and that really speaks to not just how the landscape is in California and the sites to see but it's also what we can offer to any budget traveler especially with new air service coming on board like Wow air starting commencing service from Delhi in, in uh, end of this year to the affluent traveler that's looking for a luxury experience in California. We really have the bandwidth to cover it all. Santa Monica is, we call it LA's beach city. It's located just 20 minutes from Los Angeles airport, so you can land and be right on the beach in 20 minutes. Um, it is the quintessential California beach vacations. When you think about beaches in California, what actually is popping into your mind is Santa Monica. The Indian market has grown significantly uh, for the last many years actually. Last year I think we brought in about a, into LA 123,000 visitors, Indian visitors. Uh, this year's projected to be about 130,000 visitors into LA. Um, and we're seeing that growth, that, um, just, it's not gonna stop. We have about 60 to 70 percent of our of our visitors to Santa Monica are international. So it's, it is the place where you can be anything and anybody and feel as welcome and friendly as in, in your home country. Chicago, which is the third largest city in the United States, and we're also the third largest city as far as tourism goes. We had 55 million travelers come to Chicago last year in 2017, and um, India is now our third largest overseas market. So the Indian market has been growing steadily for us, um, primarily because of the easy access to Chicago. We have a daily non-stop from New Delhi every day. We have three major sources of business um, for Chicago, right? We have the conventions, we have business travel and also leisure travel. For conventions, we get a lot of doctors from India, medical conventions. Uh, we have one of the largest convention centers in the world, so it attracts um, tourism from all over the world. Um, business travel is also a big component. We have quite a lot of Fortune 500 companies like Boeing, McDonald's, uh, United Healthcare, so many uh, companies based in Chicago. So that also attracts a lot of traveling. Leisure travel is a very big component of ours as well. Um, um, we have uh, quite an array of offerings. So for example, Broadway in Chicago, um, something that we promote a lot like all the big Broadway shows that one might think are only available in New York for example are available in Chicago um, the culinary scene is really big with all the Michelin star restaurants Indian restaurants vegetarian restaurants all kinds right um, we have a great music scene which is in high demand right now travelers can come to Chicago and enjoy one of the festivals that we have in the summer or big concerts like Lollapalooza, uh, festivals like the Jazz Festival or the Blues Festival. Um, uh, we have quite an extensive calendar. There is free concerts every day.